folks, today I'd like to take a casual peek into the Figma Common Rider Wrath action figure set by Max Factory. This set is part of a special series of Figma action figures and is numbered 31 in that series. I believe this set was first released in 2011, I'm not sure, but I did purchase this set in 2012 uh, off a web store called CS Toys International. And they had a sale uh, on this particular set for about $8, but with the shipping uh, calculated into it, uh, it cost me around $18. Now, Common Rider Wrath is a character on the show Common Rider Dragon Knight, which is a U.S. adaptation of the Japanese series Common Rider Ryuki, where uh, the character is known as Common Rider Odin. Taking a look at the uh, Common Rider Wrath here in the packaging, you can see the figure here on the right, uh, and he is uh, clad in a uh, color scheme of what looks like a uh, orange or bronze and black, which is uh, very cool. And you can also see uh, some of the accessories that come included with the figure, which is uh, very neat. And uh, it's also uh, got some neat packaging here uh, on the window design here is uh, Common Rider Wrath's uh, contract monster. I believe it's a phoenix. And uh, you can see uh, some information here on the uh, series number and uh, the name of the figure there. Over here on this side we have a nice picture of Common Rider Wrath on there. And uh, we have here the back of the package with uh, Common Rider Wrath in various poses, which is uh, very nice. And I believe this is a statistic uh, card for Common Rider Wrath. I'm not sure because it's in a language I cannot read. But it has some numbers on here which look like statistics. I could be wrong, but uh, that's just a guess on my part. Down here we have uh, information, uh, I'm not sure what it says, again it's in a language I cannot read. Uh, very little of it I can uh, read, uh, like a website here. Now we'll be right back and have Common Writer Wrath here out of the package. Okay, we have Common Writer Wrath or Odin uh, out of the package, uh, whichever series you prefer. And as you can see, uh, this uh, figure set comes with a whole bunch of accessories. Now, uh, as far as uh, Kamen Rider uh, Wrath or Odin uh, is concerned, uh, I'm not familiar with the character. I have not watched enough episodes yet where uh, Wrath or Odin uh, makes an appearance yet. So if I make any mistakes in regards to the uh, character, uh, please forgive me. Now, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at all of the <laughs> neat accessories that come with uh, the figure, because there's quite a bit. And we'll start out uh, with this here, and this is the, the inner uh, backing card uh, that's uh, in the uh, box. And uh, as you can see, it's got the shattered glass or mirror uh, motif here that was common uh, with the series. And uh, here uh, we have the uh, emblem for uh, Wrath, I uh, believe it's a phoenix, uh, that's the contract monster uh, of the character. And uh, it's actually perforated uh, around here and I believe uh, if you separate this uh, piece here, it's a square uh, sized uh, piece. Uh, you can actually uh, put this on a, I guess a display base uh, that comes uh, sold separately. And I think that's kind of neat that they did that. And I don't plan to uh, t tear it out. Uh, I, I like to keep it as is because it's a nice looking uh, backdrop uh, that you can use on here. So, which is uh, kind of cool. Now uh, let's go ahead and take a look at uh, some other uh, neat stuff that comes included uh, with the figure set here. And uh, let me just turn this down a little bit. And uh, first, uh, We'll take a look at this, and this is uh, basically a Ziploc bag, uh, which is nice. It has the uh, Figma logo there, and a place uh, if you want to write something on there. 
and it's supposed to hold uh, all the accessories in, including the figure and uh, there's enough room uh, for all of that which is nice and uh, we have here a pamphlet and it shows you how to use the visor basically if you want an open visor or a closed uh, visor there let me just turn that down so you can see it and you can see you can uh, take it off uh, basically the staff handle there which is kind of cool and uh, it's got some uh, writing there that I'm not familiar with but I'm sure it uh, it's a, a, uh, a guide to show you how to take the these two uh, visors uh, on and off the staff end. That's kind of cool. Next thing to uh, take a look at is uh, the action base or display base and uh, this pretty much comes included with uh, most uh, Figma action figure sets uh, at least for the uh, Kamen Rider Dragon Knight sets and uh, you can see it's in two pieces and it came uh, in two pieces uh, you basically have the base here with the Figma logo on it which is nice and then you have the post uh, for uh, basically a display action you can uh, just mount the uh, post into the peg hole there and uh, you can use it uh, for leaping, flying or just generalized uh, dynamic posing here and it has uh, basically three points of uh, posability there you got one uh, that rotates uh, up and down here and then you have one that uh, rotates around that way and then the top portion here that rotates uh, about that much and there's a peg here that you can place onto the uh, back of the figure unfortunately uh, this uh, peg here is a little too uh, either too uh, large or the peg hole is uh, too small I'm gonna lean toward that uh, peg hole is a little too small and uh, it really can't fit uh, at least uh, without a whole bunch of work I may even have to carve out the hole to make it a little bit bigger uh, for the figure to fit into the back of this here and oh I, I also forgot there is also one more point of articulation on the base uh, which is uh, rotational all the way around there so you can get uh, the figure uh, once you have the figure plugged in there uh, you can actually uh, have the figure posed in very dynamic poses uh, for this uh, display base to uh, add stability uh, to the figure so that's kind of cool that they include this uh, with each of the common Rider figures. Uh, next uh, accessory we'll take a look at are the extra pairs of hands and uh, you can see that the figure has four extra pairs and uh, we'll go through each of these here basically you have a pair of gripping hands here uh, you have a card holding hand here and uh, you have basically a relaxed hands here and uh, a splayed hand, a pair of splayed hands, I have it, uh, one of them on the figure now and a pair of uh, closed fists on there so uh, that's kinda cool on there and uh, it's nice that uh, they include this uh, I guess hand holder you could say uh, that's uh, really convenient and very nice next uh, we'll take a look at the uh, final event card uh, for uh, Wrath here and get it into focus. There, it's a bit hard to get into focus. There we go. Yep, it's in and out of focus. Uh, but uh, it, it's got the uh, contract monster on there. I believe it's a phoenix on there, which is nice. And it's got a metallic, uh, not paint, uh, but application there uh, where the phoenix is concerned, uh, which is kind of cool. And on the other side, it's uh, painted purple on there. Kind of cool. Next thing we'll take a look at is uh, the visor, uh, the card visor that Wrath uses. And uh, it's basically a staff here. It's got a whole bunch of details. Uh, you can see here's the handle where uh, Wrath will grab a hold onto the staff like that. And let's see if we can get a gripping hand on here. Basically, you can just get this gripping hand and uh, hopefully it can fit on here. It may be a little tight. Um, I might have to do this off screen. Uh, if, 
Let's see here. Yeah, I'll have to do it off screen. There we go. And uh, you can see the hand grips it very tight. And uh, you can attach it uh, to the arm. And you can see the staff here is a very nicely detailed, especially at the top uh, where the card visor is. And if you can see that, that's very nicely detailed. You got the phoenix head there. Uh, it's hard to see, but the eyes are actually uh, painted red, which is very, very cool. And then you have, uh, I guess this is the closed version. Uh, the wings are actually closed, and you can see some of the detail along the edges of the wings there, in, uh, painted in gold, which is very cool. And then you have this uh, here, I guess this is where the card visor is, where he inserts his uh, advent cards in there. That's very, very nice. And you can see some more design on the back of that, which is very cool. Now, uh, the instructions uh, on the pamphlet say you just basically pull that off the top there. And you can see the top edge of the staff there. And it's notched, uh, so you can only place the, uh, I guess, the visor in one direction there. And you stick this on there. And you have an open-winged... Uh, card visor there and compare it with the closed wing you can see that the wings if it was articulated would fold uh, up and down here and you can see some sculpting of a hinge on there that it's uh, it's supposed to open up the, uh, that way and uh, with the wings open you can see some more added detail right there and I think uh, Wrath sticks his cards in through the top of there uh, th that's my guess it looks like uh, that's how it would, would work and just really nice detail. You can see the gold paint here, dark brown paint on the top edges of the wing. And also some more uh, detail here on the in the center. It's very, very cool. Very, very nice. And then you can actually see uh, where if this uh, the wing uh, folded up, you can see some of the gold edge trim there, which is actually uh, very, very nice. Nicely detailed and really uh, nicely painted. But that's the uh, staff. Next uh, accessory we have is uh, a shield, which is also uh, very nicely uh, sculpted. Uh, you can see uh, all the ornate design here in the middle. You got some silver paint on this orb like area. And uh, of course, this is painted in uh, metallic gold color and uh, brown. Very, very cool. You can see some more of the painted detail. It's very nice and clean very well done and you can see it's uh, very uh, solidly painted and you can see uh, here a handle uh, for Wrath to grip the shield I'm thinking he'll uh, grip it from underneath there and I guess he could use it as a weapon as well this is a pointed edge right there very cool I really like the design on this it's very nice on there Next thing uh, I'll take a look at are his pair of swords. And uh, this is uh, very well done as well. Nicely painted, no bleed, uh, very sharp in the paint. And of course you got the gold uh, on the, uh, I guess the edged part of the blade there. It's very nice and you can see some sculpting detail on the back, uh, painted in brown. With uh, black handles and these uh, knobs here that look uh, very similar to the knobs on most of the common riders like in the knee and forearm area on there so that's uh, kind of cool and uh, he, he comes with a pair of these so he can dual wield these I guess and uh, you can see right here at uh, the tip of the blade it is very sharp and uh, really gotta watch yourself uh, with these points here I guess uh, in Japan they don't have uh, the safety regulations uh, that uh, the states uh, use uh, utilize a lot. Uh, if this was uh, constructed in the states, uh, this would made be made of very soft rubber. But this is a very uh, hard plastic, and uh, so you could actually hurt yourself if you uh, stuck yourself or someone uh, with the the edge of these blades. Uh, if anything, it'll it'll hurt. <laughs> Uh, but if anything, it'll uh, probably break off if you actually applied some force on there. So, but I, I would not recommend it, and it's just uh, very cool that the this is a uh, very sharp on there. And it just really adds to the uh, authenticity of the 
I guess, and posability uh, to go along with the figure. So, very neat. Now, uh, on to uh, the Wrath uh, figure, or Odin, uh, whichever series you prefer. And it's very nice. And like I said, I am not familiar with the character yet. I haven't watched enough episodes where uh, this uh, character makes an appearance. And uh, I've seen some pictures and s video snippets on the web. And I think he's a bad guy, of s at least in the uh, Dragon Knight clips I've seen. He seems to hang around uh, Osha. Osha, I mean, uh, or uh, Strike, I'm sorry. And uh, I guess he's a bad guy. And uh, until the, uh, until I watch uh, all the episodes, uh, I can't really say for sure. Uh, but looking at the detail here, it's very detailed, very nice, uh, very well sculpted and well painted. And uh, starting off the head, you can see all the fine details uh, that are sculpted onto this figure. It's very cool on here. Although it looks like uh, this edge of this fin here is a little flattened, unfortunately. On the other side, it's nice and smooth. But uh, otherwise, uh, very cool. And I don't know if the video picks it up, but there's a very thin uh, line of gold uh, running up across the top edge of that. And it's uh, painted very well, and but it's so fine, it's hard to see on the video screen, but uh, it's, it's there. And uh, you can also see uh, the gold and brown paint on the head sculpt, very, very nice. And I'm assuming that uh, this is where the eyes are at. And you can see uh, what looks like uh, the mask area, breathable uh, mouth a uh, area of the mask. And that's uh, finely painted as well, no bleed whatsoever, uh, which is very, very cool. And you can see it's rather plain on the back of the head there. But uh, very ornate design and very well done. Now uh, moving down to the rest of the figure, you can see the torso here, uh, the design work continues, which is very nice, very very cool. And you got these flares on the shoulder here, which are made of a softer rubber rise material, so that I guess adds uh, to the range of articulation on the figure. It doesn't restrict it as much if it was solid hard plastic. So that's kind of cool, and you can see uh, some shoulder armor here along a uh, the shoulders there and uh, again uh, the torso uh, is very well done on there and uh, nicely painted and on the back here you got more of those uh, knobs or connectors on there and the uh, peg hole there nicely painted on the back here I don't know uh, they look like uh, something uh, for an attachment I don't know but uh, very cool and you can see uh, the belt here where he keeps his deck and uh, pulls cards out of. Very cool. And uh, rather plain on this side here. And the forearms here, uh, I guess uh, armor you could say, which is nice. A nice solid plastic there and uh, very well painted. And moving down here you got the uh, rubber like uh, material for the leggings, which is standard for most common writers there. Uh, but uh, more unique uh, to Wrath are the lower legs here uh, with more armor design on the uh, lower uh, half of the leg and also on the foot or on the feet I should say very cool a nice uh, color combination of gold and brown and black so it's very very cool uh, now on to uh, the articulation uh, this is pretty much the uh, standard Figma common Rider articulation uh, the head can go all the way around and can go up and down uh, side to side so that's uh, kind of neat uh, the arms do not go all the way around due to the shoulder armor even though it's made of a softer arm uh, uh, material it's still you cannot get the arm all the way around uh, it does uh, go out uh, a bit and in and also basically rotates along the shoulder there so that's kind of cool as well as uh, swings uh, in and out uh, the arms uh, bend at the elbow here, basically uh, swings all the way in and uh, out straight and it's on a basically a peg disc joint there. So uh, with the arm bent you can actually rotate it along the elbow as well. Uh, the hands uh, can go all the way around as well as uh, in and out and that's for all of the extra hands. 
The uh, torso area allows the figure to bend downwards, up and back, as well as tilt uh, side to side and uh, can go all uh, the way around on here. Uh, the legs uh, are on a uh, that similar ball socketed joint there you can see in the back allows the uh, leg to go up down uh, to the back and out to the side and you got this piece of uh, rubberized material uh, to cover up the joints there so that's kind of neat and uh, the leg can go all the way around at the top of the thigh and uh, knees uh, do bend you have that disc uh, peg disc uh, articulation so you can really uh, bend the leg uh, that far back and this much forward on there so that's kind of cool and the feet are on a pegged uh, system as well pegged disc system so you can move the leg up and down and uh, you can rotate it all the way around and there is also an ankle uh, pivot on the other end of the peg on there so overall nice articulation typical for uh, or figmas and uh, the common writer series so very cool uh, nicely painted very detailed and lots of accessories you really can't go wrong with, uh, with this figure and uh, this particular common writer uh, from the figma series uh, is actually one of the more inexpensive ones I'm not sure why because you got a whole bunch of stuff and really nice uh, detailed work on this figure but uh, I guess that's good for us, uh, for us to be able to get at, at a cheaper price. Uh, this is my uh, casual peek into the Figma Common Rider Wrath uh, action figure set. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.